Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Alex, the architect for Backfire, and in today's video we will continue our flutter and parse series of videos with our sub-series data objects where we will discuss all the properties and data types supported by parse. Today we will be talking about objects. So sometimes you need to store very complex data inside a parse object. There are many use cases for when you have to do so, but a very common one is for instance when you have to migrate data from one old system to a parse system. System. So you want to recover this information in the future for, let's say, auditing purposes. So we want to, to keep the original object as consistent as possible. And for that, Parse created a new property called object where you can store any kind of JSON object. I'm going to add a property, clicking this plus column button here, choose the data type object and give it a good name. I'm going to call it complex object click add a column and my object as a column showed up here. This will validate a JSON object. Uh, it must match the JSON format, but it, it will not validate any kind of data inside. All it has to do is to match the format. So for instance, I can open curly brackets and type here name and put it Allison. This is a valid JSON object, so it will allow me to save it. I can, for instance, add another one here and call it age. Oops, it must be between quotes and put a number. So let's say 30. It will also validate. But if I try to, for instance, put some text that does not match the JSON format. So for instance, just some text it will not allow me to save because it will validate if it is a valid JSON object. To do that in Flutter, let me bring my Visual Studio up, we're going to set a new property, set complex object, and then pass the JSON formatted object inside. I'm going to create a very complex object where I'm going to add the name Alex, age 40, and is employee as true. With that saved, I'm going to Flutter run, bring my simulator up There you go. If I go back to my parse dashboard and refresh, double click here, you see Alex as name, 40 as the age, and is employee as true. You can have as complex objects uh, inside this property as you want or need. All you have to do is ensure it matches the JSON format. So I hope you liked this video. I hope to see you on the next ones of this series. So see you soon. Bye bye.